Hey, it's Brickzar, and it's time for a bet. We're going to answer a question from Christian Beckany, and it's about a Lego game. So stay tuned for the bet. So anyway, we're down here in an uh, area where I got some storage. It's actually part of my BrickLink store that I can actually get to. This is from Christian Beckany who asks, what happened to your creation area? It was visible in the video in the upper left corner. Um, the bats we filmed with myself and they might be bricks. Uh, you can see the creation area in the background. So anyway, it says it seems to be an empty box and what do you think about Lego tabletop games? All right, we did actually try to play a few of the games. One of them was this one, Lego Champion and briefly did look at Lego creationary so there's a creationary box but uh, quickly didn't like them we uh, played another one uh, one of the smaller ones we got pirate code race 3000 I think it was the minotaur one that we played that was actually one of the medi medium sized ones but you see what I'm doing with the boxes <laughs> These are actually all, these aren't games, these champion, these are storage. I'm using them for storage. And these boxes here are Lego game boxes that are turned inside out. And it just became easier to write on them uh, than looking at all that. So it looks more like a little box. So those are Lego game boxes. Almost all of these. Here are some of the smaller ones. And I use them for storage. <laughs> like we'll take one out here. I saw these elements in there, and it was an old Lego Monster 4 game. So what I did, uh, those games did not do very well, so we got them on super deep clearance. Uh, most of those small ones like that were less than $2. Um, I know that I, I did pay like 10 or more dollars for some of these champion games, but near the end, we were getting them for 5 to three to five dollars at some Walmart stores. I mean, it was just super, super cheap. I mean, uh, you had the clearance and then they were 50% off clearance. So we got a lot of them really, really cheap. Here's some of the um, the pyramids. Let's see, this is an empty box here. Yeah, that's the Minotaur. So the Minotaur was good because you got a base plate with it. And then the pyramid, which was another one that was this size, you got the tan base plate. So now Lego sells the tan base plate for $8. Uh, those things were going for $10 to $12. Uh, and these games sold for less than that. Oh, there's a pyramid box. So it's got the 32 by 32 base plate. Race 3000. There's actually a couple of the games that look neat. Um, one of them is the space one, the Star Wars. And what was the two that come to mind? The Space one and the Star Wars one, which I don't have them right here. I actually do have, I did keep one of um, a good number of the games, and they're in storage right now. But uh, like I said, we tried playing a few of them, and it just, they were either too confusing or just, they weren't fun. The games just weren't fun. So I did not like the tabletop games. I think the best one uh, might be creationary. It's kind of like Pictionary, I guess. But uh, Champion, is, you, can, you they had little builds that you would do, but and it had a lot of two by four bricks. But um, I just, yeah, I went crazy about the games, and I think overwhelmingly that it was a failure on Lego's part. They put a good effort in it. They had high quality boxes. They had the instructions were detailed, which to me that. If you got to read too long to figure out what to do, and, and even being able to change the games up and do whatever you want, it still was, uh, there's the mop and glow. So anyway, yes, this is still a work in progress here, but uh, it's a good question. The Lego games, what did you think? Do some of y'all still play them? I'd, re I'd be really surprised if there was many people that are still out there that get these games out and play them. Like, you know, we'll still get out Monopoly, you know, a game that's been around for forever, or card games, and people still pull those out. But uh, with video games, you know, 
makes board games lose their popularity, but I think we played Blockus uh, probably more than any other game. I don't know if any, any of y'all have played Blockus. That's a game that we like, but the Lego games just, you know, I, I didn't, I love Lego, but I just never was a fan of the games. So good question. Thanks for watching this bet, and we'll catch you in the next one. If you have a bet question, leave the hashtag BAT and ask your question. We will try to answer it. We can't answer all the questions, but we try to get them as we can. And normally Monday through Friday, unless something unforeseen comes, uh, then I won't have a video. But we try to do at least one a day during the week, but not on the weekend. So thanks for watching. There's the paper towels. I got a lot of work to do down here. See how dusty it is. Uh, we'll see you in the next video. It's Briggs are.